So with the release of iOS 16, you're going to be a bit disappointed that there is no automatic create ringtone feature. However, don't let that get you down because one of the best ways to create custom ringtones, especially on the iOS 16 update, has always been with the GarageBand app. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this on the iPhone SE 3, and of course, if you want to check out our iOS newsletter or some great iOS resources, we'll have some links in the description. Now there are other ways to do this, but GarageBand makes it super easy, plus it's free to download. You can see I had it pulled up in the App Store. It's literally got over 100,000 positive reviews. Okay, anyway, once you have it downloaded, you just gotta you know click OK to get to the, basically the home screen on this, and you wanna look for the audio recorder option. Now when you click on audio recorder, there's a little squiggly in the top left-hand corner, just tap that. And then you're gonna see this little loop icon in the right-hand corner, click that, and then you just need to choose a song that you wanna create a ringtone with. Now I've got a pretty cool tone here that I'm gonna hold down on. So what you wanna do is hold down on, then you're gonna drag it into here. Now I'm gonna hit play so you guys could hear like whatever the sound for this, but you could short it, cut it, do whatever you want with it, mix it up. And then when you're good to go and you're ready to create this you know, song as your ringtone, you can click the little down arrow, then you wanna hold down on your you know, song and you wanna click share. Now when you click share, there's gonna be an option that says ringtone, just click that. Then I'm just gonna name this new because I just created it. Once you name your ringtone, you're gonna see an option in the top right hand corner that says export. Now if I went a little fast here, just you know rewind it a little bit, but after you do this once or twice, it's pretty easy to do. Now we're gonna go into our settings and check our ringtones to make sure that this saves, so let's go there. And the moment of truth. Okay, cool, it's right there. All right, anyways, guys, like I said, this is always one of the first things I customize when I get a new iPhone, and it's pretty easy to do, and GarageBand is just the best way to do it. Okay, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching it, and we'll see you all in the next video.